I look insane. I look like a crazy person. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we are doing Allure Beauty favorites. And so I went through, combed through, and grabbed all of the clean makeup products in there, and we're going to be doing a full face. It's actually the full face that I have on right now. Let me know what you think of the look. I would love to know down below too, what do you think of the Allure Beauty favorites? I feel like as time has gone on, people have kind of paid attention to it less or cared about it a little bit less, but I would love to know down below, do you guys still care or have you ever cared about the Allure Beauty favorites? We also do some critics choice in here as well. Do you prefer the Critics' Choice or do you prefer the Allure Beauty Favorites? Because those are two separate categories. So I grabbed a bunch of products from, actually majority of the products from both of those sections. And we're gonna be doing a full face. And this was really fun to film. I really like how the makeup came out. I think it looked cute. Let me know your thoughts down below, please. I love to hear from you guys. And yeah, that's it. I just wanna jump into this video and get started because I'm yapping on a little bit too much. So if you're excited for this video or more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this full face of Allure Beauty Favorites. Allure Best of Beauty, let's get into this full face. So the first thing that I actually don't have is the brow gel that they had, it was the a Live Tinted Clear Brow Gel, which I'm adding to my list. Um, but since I don't have that, I'm just gonna go on with my tried and true trusty dusty, trusty dusty, <laughs> trusty brow gel. So this is the Rose Ink one, and it is my favorite brow gel because it's more pomade-y, and I prefer a more pomade-y brow gel. Also, I just got my eyebrows <laughs> shaped, I think because they were looking a little funky. And now it's just, <sighs> eyebrows really can like make or break the way that I feel like the final makeup look comes out. So love that I just got those done. So then next they had actually two brow pencils, both in different sections. One was in the clean section, but then also one was in their like, splurge i believe or under eyes i'm not really sure but there too so there's the kosas brow pencil now they had the nano one as opposed to this one i just have this one but then they also had this one which i've talked about before but just very briefly so i'm going to use this one this is from victoria beckham beauty and you know how i love victoria beckham beauty and this is there what is the full name baby blade um brow pencil in dark brown and this is great because it has a similar vibe to the Kosas one where it has a little bit more of, it's not just like a straight up and down like point. It has a little bit of shape to it that's almost like triangular, which I really like. And it also has a nice little spoolie. Can never go wrong with a spoolie. So we're gonna fill in our brows with this one. I have the shade dark brown. I always get the darkest brown shade, usually even if it's like a gray or something that's more close to black, just because my hair is such a dark color. And usually some, not always, lately it's gotten a lot better in the last like five years, I would say, but usually brow products tend to skew a little bit warm on me, but we're gonna go in with this. This is a good shade match. This is really easy to fill the brows in with. Now I have a little bit of a scar here. I'm gonna try and fill it in, but I feel like it just never ends up working out. Oh, that ended up working out. I'm dramatic, so I'm gonna do the other side really quick and then move on. I really, really like this brow pencil, the Victoria Beckham Beauty. I actually also love the Kosas one. It's great. Um, uh, the Victoria Beckham Beauty one, I do feel like there are other ones kind of in the more splurgy luxe world that are you get a lot more bang for your buck. This is a great product, but there isn't that much product in it. So if you want one that, I mean, my favorite one is the Westman Atelier one, and that one lasted me a year. So, and this one I'm gonna run out of really quickly, but I really like this brow pencil. It's just good, it's nice. I mean, I just feel like it's so easy to fill your brows in with. That's the key, I hate stuff 
that makes it hard to fill my brows in because I'm just stressed the whole time. Okay, next. Next, we're gonna move on to complexion. Now, this one was in the Clean Beauty section, and this is the House Labs um, foundation. You know how I feel about this. If you don't know, if you're new here, hi, I really like this foundation, um, but I do prefer using this with my hands. Um, and I have the shade 330, I believe, Oh, 330 medium cool and what I'm gonna do is I always like to shake my stuff and then I like to do just one pump like not even that wasn't even a full pump and I'm not even gonna use all of it um, this is really nice it makes your skin really look like skin at first when I used it I struggled with it because I did find that it made my skin look a little bit more textured, but it was the way I was applying it because I wasn't using my fingers. And in general, I like makeup to look like skin. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna just blend, look how pretty that is. Such a good shade match. And I don't normally match well with stuff that tends to be more cool toned, um, but this one actually is a really nice match. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just blend with my fingers. I just love the way that that foundation makes my skin look. When I get up close to a mirror, it looks hydrated. It feels plumped up and it doesn't feel like, even though it's a more medium coverage foundation, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is just the best. I really, really like that foundation. Now, another foundation product that was in a different section, I believe it was either in Splurge or in the base section, was this one from Westman Atelier. This is their foundation stick. And this is, I love this. And if you are someone who's been around since kind of the beginning of my channel, I've talked about this a ton in the past. This is a really good product. It has a very, very nice natural finish so it doesn't get too dewy, which I know a lot of people don't like super dewy products, which I totally get, especially in summer. Girl, we're just always sweating. But this is really, really good. I like this. And this is in the shade IX. My, my true, true shade for year round is the shade X. Um, and I know it's like a Roman numeral. I just, listen, I'm not brushed up on my Roman numeral numbers. So I'm just gonna go with what it, just the letters, okay? We're just gonna go with the letters. But um, I, my normal shade that would be year round is the shade X, but in winter, which is when I do love to grab this one specifically a lot is the shade IX, which is great, but I can also use this under my eyes as a concealer. So I was considering using this as a concealer under the eyes, it's great. It has more light coverage, but it, it just gives like, nice coverage and it doesn't really do up a ton which is nice so you're not feeling like your under eyes are getting sweaty which nobody likes but they also had another concealer which is in their reader's choice section so i think that's what i'm going to use so we can kind of mix and match some reader's choice items but it's this one from Ilya. i do believe this was reader's choice last year if i'm not wrong but um I really, really like this product. And if, again, you've been on this channel and watching this channel for, since the beginning, you know how I feel about this. This is such a good concealer. It just melts into the skin. It's really, really good. Um, and this, is, I have two shades here. I have the shade Wasabi, I believe, and Chai. Oh my gosh, you know when writing is so small that you gotta get a mic, like a magnifying glass? Can we make writing bigger? Chai and Wasabi. Um, I'm gonna go under my eyes with the shade Chai and have a touch of wasabi. So we're gonna do a little combo. Um, Cause I do, was, I feel like chai is my true, true shade, but I do like to mix a little bit with wasabi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually put it on the back of my hand. A little, more chai than wasabi, just a little mixy poo of the two. Um, wasabi is definitely more of a yellow undertone. Chai is more of a true neutral, but wasabi is definitely more of a brightening shade. And the combo just looks great under my eyes. And this is what the combo looks like. So cute. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just take my finger and kind of just place it under my eyes. And I don't want it to be too brightening today. I do want it to be kind of more true complexion-y, but I do want some brightening. And I'm going to take this brush here from Sephora. This is their 71 complexion brush, not complexion, girl, if I don't get it together, <laughs> concealer brush, and we're just gonna dab it in. I do love blending concealer with my fingers a lot of the time, but sometimes a brush just makes all the difference and really does give you more of that like airbrushed flawless look. I love this concealer brush. 
I do know that Real Techniques, because I, I know that Sephora Pro brushes aren't like the most affordable or they aren't the cheapest. I believe this was probably $30 or something like that, $28. Um, Real Techniques has a brush that's kind of like this where it is more of a kitten paw or bunny foot, bunny foot, bunny paw, I don't know. But it's these types are really, really nice. And I haven't seen that many out there from different brands. I do believe more brands are coming out with them, but this is really, really great. And, oh, and the Sephora sale is coming up at the end of October. So it might be a time to get it because Sephora Pro stuff is over. Sephora, Sephora products are, did I say over? Are always 30% <laughs> off. So hopefully it's the same this year. All right, I'm loving how that's looking. Now I'm not gonna set my face with powder. I actually also don't have the powder that they had on their list, but the Lawless powder, it's like in a compact, was the winner this year. Um, and that is on my list of things to try out. I've just been testing a lot of stuff, but I do think I'm gonna purchase it just because you know it was on the Allure Best of Beauty, so why the heck not? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like contour bronzer. Now there were two contour products, the um, Milk Makeup Contour, stick which is this is the tiniest little component ever um, and I have the shade simmer I will say this is very very warm for my complexion contour in general is meant to be more of a cool tone however I do think that this would work for some people depending on their undertones I tend to be a little bit more neutral so this doesn't really work that much unless it's summer and then there also was this one from tower 28 and these coincidentally came out like weeks apart which is kind of wild um, and this one is definitely more my tone and I have the shade hammer in this one both of these are great I would say out of these two the milk makeup one is slightly more long lasting because the tower 28 one has a little bit more of a slip to it not a bad slip or anything like that but just something that is a little bit more dewy so dewy doesn't tend to last as long still great lasting power and it's still on by the end of the day but out of these two this one is more long lasting so we're going to go on with this one um the tower 28 one and i will say i i do prefer contours that I don't have to dip my finger into, but that is a-okay. We're just gonna do a little bit like that. And this is kind of, what I really like about this one is the um, color of it is very much more like a combo bronzer and like contour so it just is great i'm gonna blend that out with this brush here this is from it cosmetics their heavenly luxe number seven and we're just gonna pat and blend as we go and it really look how quickly that blends out it's a dream it's a dream and it isn't too intense in color which i really really like okay love that so pretty um i'm kind of thinking maybe i'll do a, a touch of nose contour i don't know i'm gonna take my pinky finger this is i'm just gonna do here and then we're gonna do a little bit of this i look insane <laughs> i look like a crazy person and i'm just gonna take this brush here this is actually from persona cosmetics you know how i feel about persona their eyeshadows are life their eyeliner is also life and i'm just gonna go on with this brush and it's their apply and blend i'm gonna go with the blend side and we're just gonna blend it out Okay, love how that contour blended. These are really, really good products. I enjoy both of these. Again, I just prefer the undertones of the Tower 28 one more on me specifically, but they're both really, really great. And if you're looking for super, super dark, like a true deep contour shade, both of them have great options, but the Milk Makeup one has a one that is just like wild out of this world. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a little bit of the Westman Atelier Foundation. Um, and this is in the shade IX. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit on this brush here. This is just a kind of flat brush. And I'm going to do a little bit of just highlighting on the nose and then just defining under the brow. All right, I'm gonna let the nose contour sit for a second and kind of like dry down a bit and kind of marinate, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take a little bit of the, um, can, I, can I get the words out, the Westman Atelier foundation stick and I'm gonna stamp it underneath my eye just to define it a little bit more. And by eye, I mean brows. 
And my brow lady does this and it always looks so good. And I always forget to do it, but I really like it. And you don't look at, it just defines it so nicely. And we're just gonna lightly go around the edge. Nothing too crazy. I love how that's looking. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just blend it out. I just love what that does. It just looks so good, especially in person. It just it makes everything look crisp and I love that. So the next I'm gonna now that I've let this sit enough on my nose, I'm gonna just take my finger and just blend. Okay, loving that, we look great. So the next we have some blush items. So the first thing was also a um, reader's choice and this one was in the clean section of the reader's choice and this is clean by um allure beauty standards the hourglass blush and i do believe that this was in it last year um i didn't have the shade that they said but this shade here um sublime flush is a beautiful shade and they had one that was a little bit more cranberry toned i would say but these blushes are really really nice if you do enjoy a powder blush and you want something that is a great I don't know, it has like the perfect, like it has enough shimmer and by shimmer, I mean, it's like a very subtle little something. It doesn't make you feel glittery or anything. These are great and it's very luxe feeling. Okay, the next one they had is the Amicole Multi-Stick, which you guys know how I feel about this. These are so freaking good. And um, this shade I have here is the shade Dune. This is a great blush shade. Um, it just, you can't go wrong with it. And then they also had the Say Beauty, their, um, what is it called? Their Sculpt Glow? Glow Sculpt. Kind of nailed it. And I got their more bronzy shade of this. And this is a really, really nice product. I really enjoy the way that this wears. I think maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on with the Amicole and then maybe do a little bit of the Hourglass on top. We'll see. So I'm gonna do the Amicole. And what I like to do is I just like to put it on the back of my hand. This is the shade. You can see Dune, it's such a beautiful shade. I always get compliments actually when I wear this specific shade. It just looks so good. And I'm gonna just dip in with this like slanted brush. I love a slanted brush for blush. Um, I've actually been testing out this new one, which I have been loving a lot. It's a, a lot smaller than this though, but I've been loving. I just love the way that it makes. It somehow makes blush easier to apply. I don't know. It's just so good. Look how pretty, oh, it's just so good. All right, love that blush, it's so good. I'm gonna go on on top with the hourglass one just Cause why not? Cause why not? And I'm gonna dip in just with this brush here. This is from the Ariel Morphe collab. And this is just one of theirs that comes in the, I believe it's the face collection. Um, and I'm just gonna lightly tap. All right, love that combo together. It's just so pretty. So then next, next we're gonna move on to the eyes. And there were a few eyeshadows that were on the list. So the first one is the Rose Ink eyeshadow. I have two shades of this. And this one, oh my goodness, I will say the rose ink eyeshadows, the powder, not the cream, it, it, I mean, it was almost just falling out. And the, on the, I have the brown shade too. That one just shattered for me, um, which I just, that bugs me, but these are very delicate and soft and they're not really like, it doesn't feel like the powder at least is super secure in the pan, but these are beautiful eyeshadows. Um, so we have those. I also have the brown. The brown one looks, I just, it's all types of cracked. So I'm not gonna lift that one up, but that one's really, really nice. And then there's also one um, that I actually haven't reviewed on this channel yet, but this is the Amicole Matte uh, like Cream Eyeshadow. And I have the shade, what shade? Does it say on here? It's the brown, one of the brown ones. I'm gonna, or I think it, there's only one brown one. I'm gonna link everything down below, but there's this one. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one all over my lid and then go in with the rose ink. They also have a brown shade, the, their cream on the lid as well. So what we're gonna do is um, take this out. This is a really pretty brown shade. And I'm just gonna put it on my lid like that. It's a very nice warm tone. I do love a warm brown eyeshadow. We're just gonna blend it with our fingers first. These ones really like set up, which is nice. You see the difference? I My lids are naturally dark, but you can definitely tell a difference. 
I am then going to just blend with a, there's nothing on this brush, but I'm just going to use it to blend the edge of the eyeshadow, which is looking a little crazy right now, but that's all right. So then what I'm going to do is take a little brush like this and just apply a little bit to the back of my hand here and just pull it down on my lower lash line. Okay, so the next I'm gonna go into this rose ink palette. I'm gonna go in, this is their Satin Cocoa and White Gold Shimmer palette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the Satin Cocoa and I'm going to apply that also to my lid. It's more of a neutrally brown shade and I'm gonna just kind of apply that on the outer edge. Okay, love that. Then I'm gonna also take a little bit on this brush here and we're just gonna pull it on the outer edge of my lower lash line. Okay, really loving how that makeup's coming out. So then another thing that one is one that I love, it's from the brand Cool Feet and it's their eyeliner. Um, and it is so long lasting, it doesn't budge. It's so, so good. I have the shade black, so we're gonna use that today, um, but it's a very, very nice, eyeliner it's it's so so long lasting i want to buy and i keep saying this i always have things that i'm like oh i want to buy the brown of something and i for whatever reason i don't so remind me in the comment section to buy the cool fee eyeliner in brown but this is a great product and i'm going to just very lightly line my um lash line nothing too crazy Okay, happy with that. Next, we're moving on to mascaras and there are two options. So one was a reader's choice and that one was the Ilia. And you know how I feel about this. This is such a good, this one, every time I stop using it for a while, which I feel like I go through phases with certain mascaras, I start using it again. And I'm like, why did I stop doing that? Why did I stop using it? And with this one, it is, for me, I've been like on a Jones Road Beauty mascara kick and been testing new mascaras. So I haven't been grabbing this one as much, but She's so good. Next, we have the Gen C mascara. I have tested this out. I have done a whole video on this and kind of talked about Gen C as a whole, but this is a nice mascara. It is a very standard-ish wand. Um, it does have a little bit of a shape to it, a slight hourglass shape, if you will. I actually, I don't know if I would consider that hourglass, but um, it does have a nice shape. It is a decent mascara. It's not my favorite mascara, but it is a nice mascara. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on and curl our lashes because can't not curl our lashes. That's crazy. I used to never curl my lashes. Um, well, I did in regular life, but I never really filmed curling my lashes. But I think that's crazy because curling lashes is the best. I mean, look at the difference curling does versus not. These lashes need to step it up. Next, we're gonna go with mascara. Which one should we use? You're right, the Ilia, because it's my obsession of life. And what I like to, wait, maybe we'll do a combo. Let's do a combo. So we're gonna do a combo because the Ilia one has a plastic brush. I'm gonna go on with the Gen C one first. I like to clean off this wand. This one actually is more of a dry formula. So I don't need to clean it off too much, but there, the, there's a good amount of product that does collect in certain parts of the brush. So that is one coat of the Gen C, very pretty looking lashes, right? Love it. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Ilia mascara. This has a plastic wand. So in general, plastic wands are ones that are more sturdy. I like to go on with second. So in case there's any clumping with the first one, it's easier to separate the lashes with a plastic wand. And I, what I like to do with this mascara is I like to go short bristles first. So the ones at the top and then long bris bristles second. It just, it's just the way that I like to do it. So this is the side that has the combo on and this is the side that just has the Gen C. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? I'm gonna go on to the other side now. I really like actually the combo of these mascaras together. Loving the way that my lashes are looking. What do you guys think of the look so far? She's cute, I love it. So the next, next we're gonna move on to the last but not least, lips. And the, one of the things that one is the Summer Fridays lip oil, lip, lip balm, lip oil, lip balm. And I'm gonna apply a little bit. This is the pink one. I don't know if there's like a name for it. It might be candy or something like that. This is really nice. I have another shade too, which I've been currently 
wearing a lot, but I love this. This is so pretty. All right, now that my lips aren't bone dry anymore because they were struggling there a little bit, it was neck, right? Um, we have a lip oil. So this is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. I don't know what the full name is, Dip or something. The I'm not sure the full name of this, but this is the shade Dip. And this is great. This is a really, really pretty shade. We also have another Gen C product. This is their lipstick. Um, and this is the, oh my goodness, I cannot find the name of this because it's so hard to read, but this is the lip color. This does not look great on me, this shade, but this is a very nice, comfortable wearing lipstick. You can't really go wrong with this. It's kind of just standard. I do think that if you like a more traditional feeling lipstick, you'll really enjoy this. And then lip liner wise, we have an LYS Beauty one, which I love to see. And this is their lip liner in the shade Driven. And this is a pretty shade. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of Driven. I'm not gonna do the Gen C lipstick just because she don't look good on me. I look a little crazy with her just on my lip. All right, so now before I put the, apply the lip liner, I obviously had to take off. Actually, I didn't have to, but it's not gonna apply as well if I have lip balm on. And I'm gonna just apply, again, this is the shade Driven. All right, lip liner's on. What do you think of the shade? She's cute. She's a cute shade. These are really, really comfortable to wear. I don't know, I like this shade. This is definitely one that for fall is a really nice color. It's not too brown. It has, I feel like it feels more of like a brick red, at least on me. I feel like that's how it kind of comes across. It's very pretty. And I think we'll do a little bit of the Kosas Wet Lip Oil just on top. Again, this is the shade Dip. Is it the shade Dip? It's the shade Dip. I do really like the Kosas lip oils, um, but I do feel like there's other lip oils out there that are kind of more ho holy grail for me and kind of are more hydrating, but this is really nice. I mean, it's still hydrating, but on my Sahara dry lips, we need something a little bit more hydrating for every day. So I go with something like this or um, the Rowan lip liquid lip balms are life. They're so good. There's so many great liquid like lip oils out there. I do believe I have a video talking about a bunch of different lip oils, but that one's really good. And yeah, that, that is the entire makeup look. What do you guys think? She's cute, she's dewy. Cheeks are flushing. Lips, cute. Lashes, also cute. I'm really into this makeup look. I would love to know what you think down below. And yeah, that's it for my Allure Beauty Favorites video. Um, do you like to watch, or not watch, do you like to read the Allure Beauty Favorites or um, the Critics Choice? Do you have a preference? Let me know down below. I feel like over the years, the Allure Beauty Favorites have kind of gotten less alluring. <laughs> to people. So I would love to know your thoughts down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.